Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in Be which we partake of Christ, his, his sufferings suffering are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be, forever. Amen. Let us meditate in the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery is crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but, but deliver, deliver us from all dangers, O our ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over His household, the Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines 
O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all. In the gospel we share with all peoples, by your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today we celebrate the Feast of Saint Andrew, the Apostle. Andrew, born at Bethsaida, was a disciple of John the Baptist before he became a follower of Christ, to whom he also brought his brother Peter. With Philip, he presented the Gentiles to Christ, and before the miracle in the desert, it was Andrew who pointed out to Christ the boy carrying the loaves and fishes. After Pentecost, he preached the gospel in many lands and was put to death by crucifixion at Achaia. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invited to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, and my mouth, mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, Come let, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. The Lord is God, the mighty God the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, Come let, let us worship the Lord, the king of apostles. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my words. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Forty years I endured the generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Two men followed the Lord from the beginning. One of these was Andrew the brother of Simon Peter. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. 
my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, when you amused through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord loved Andrew and cherished his friendship. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the earth, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praise worthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Andrew said to his brother Simon, We have found the Messiah, and he brought him to Jesus. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed Apostle Andrew was for your church a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart, and so is justified, and one confesses with the mouth, and so is saved. The scripture says, No one who believes in him will be put to shame. There is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, and reaching all who call upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But how can they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how can they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to preach? And, then, and how can people preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. But not everyone has heeded the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what was heard from us? Thus, faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Certainly they did, for their voice has gone forth to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Come after me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Matthew, Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew. Casting a net into the sea, they were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. He walked along the, there and saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee and his brother John, they were in a boat with their father Zebedee mending their nets. He called them and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa simbahan ng Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag. Today we are celebrating the Feast of St. Andrew, one of the Apostles, actually the first Apostle. Si Andrew perhaps ay parang katulad din natin. Nagahanap ng kahulugan ng buhay, nagahanap ng tunay na Diyos. Ang Ibanghelyong binasa natin, may ibang version po ito. Mas maganda yung version ni John. Dito natin makikita ni, na si, sa version ni, si, ng Ibanghelo ni San Juan, dito natin makikita na ang first vocation promoter pala ay si Andrew. Ayon doon sa kwento kasi, itong si St. Andrew, 
pinagahanap na siguro kahulugan ng buhay, Diyos, o kung ano paman. Kaya nung narinig niya si San Juan Bautista na nagpipreach doon sa isang lugar, sumunod naman siya dito hanggang sa eventually nakita ni San Juan Bautista si Kristo. At ang sabi niya, Here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Follow Him. Kasi itong si Andrew, disciple ito, alagad ito ni San Juan Bautista. Pero nakita nila si Kristo, sabi ni San Juan Bautista, He is the Lamb of God. Follow Him. Sumunod si Andrew, kasama si Juan. At simula noon, tinanungan nila eh, sinundan nila si Kristo. At tinanong, Lord, saan ka ba nakatira? Or guro, rabay, saan ka ba nakatira? Simple lang sagot ni Kristo, Come and see. Siguro marahil marami sa atin eh, naimbitahan. Kaya yung pagiging vocation promoter, nangi-invite ka. Iniimbitahan mo kung sino man yan na may natagpuan ka. Kaya nga si Andrew, si Andres, si St. Andrew, siya yung unang vocation promoter sapagkat pag uwi niya, sinabi niya doon kay Pedro, kay Simon, Simon Pedro, I have seen the Lord that has come and follow Him. Natagpuan niya. At siguro kahit sa atin din sa buhay, sometimes kapag natagpuan na natin ating tunay na bukasyon, sometimes you also invite people to come and see. Come and see. Ngayon po ay anniversary ko po as pare. Uh, 14 years ago, we were ordained. Sampu po kami ngayon. Na-assign sa iba't ibang konvento. UST, uh, San pa ba? Santo Domingo, so, Calaruega. So, sampu po kami na-ordinahan. Year 2007, November 30. At siguro, kung titinan din natin, kung habang binabasa ko yung buhay ni St. Andrew, eh, nakaka-relate po kami. Eh. Sapagkat si St. Andrew, eh, hindi naman perfecto. Mahirap din kapag ka nakakita kayo ng isang pare na perfecto. Lahat po kami, in one way or the other, nagkasala, patuloy nagkakasala, nadadapa. And yet God always reminds us ng aming ordination. At ano po yun? Na pagkatapos ng lahat, pagkatapos ng uh, educational, ano mo na, dami mo na natapos, nag-aral ka ng philosophy, aral ka ng theology, may kasama pa yung kung ano-ano. During the ordination, tatalangin ka ng obispo. Worthy ba itong taong ito? Lahat-lahat, tatanungin yung formator, di kaya yung provincial. At at the end of it, sasabihin ng obispo na mag-ordain, we rely on the help of God. And truly, even the call of the first disciple, it was truly God's, sabi natin, God's initiative. Our vocation is always God's initiative. And all of us are just called to respond to it. Tayo po'y nagmamahal sapagkat tayo po'y unang minahal ng Diyos. Tayo po'y nagpapatawad sapagkat tayo po'y unang pinatawad ng Diyos. Kaya kung titira natin ang buhay natin is just actually, kung hindi man mirroring, we just imitate the God that we followed. Kaya nga si itong mga first disciples, kung titira natin ang buhay nila, they were fishermen. People with no During those times, with no status in the society, and yet God chose them. Chose them because I don't really know. But perhaps, dahil sa kanilang kawalang pangalan, perhaps pagiging makasalanan, searching for meaning in life, when they found it, 
ang mahalaga, they keep it and they stay with it. Yun ang mahalaga eh. Pag natagpuan mo ang vocation mo, you stay with it. You keep it. You live it. Ngayon kasi, di ba? Sa vocation eh, uso na ngayon yung alimbawa sa mag-asawa, uso na ngayon yung kabit-kabit. Minsan nga, yung mga kabit, mas matapang pa kaysa tunay na asawa. Pansin ninyo. Minsan nga yung asawa, minsan eh, may kanta nga yung mga asawa na ano eh, minsan matatawa ka. Kunin mo na ang lahat sa akin, huwag lang ang aking mahal. You see, it's not just about finding our vocation in life. It's all about keeping it and staying with it. Yung ipaglalaban mo na sa gitna ng iyong kahinaan, sa gitna ng iyong kasalanan, you stay with it. Minsan sa inisip ko, pag vocation promoter ka, lahat naman tayo dito vocation promoter in our very own way. Halimbawa, kung may asawa ka, may anak ka, kayo yung vocation promoter ng Diyos sa buhay mag-asawa. On how you keep that love, how you keep that love, you know, alive in your very own family. Kami naman bukas doon sa pagpapari. Kami sa tinatanong ko sarili ko eh, marami na ba akong nadala sa Diyos? Kasi si Andrew eh, dinala niya si Pedro sa Diyos. Kaya tayo eh, sa ating pamilya, marami na ba tayong dinala? Yung mga anak ba natin eh, dinadala ba natin sa Diyos? Mas lalo ba silang napapalapit sa Diyos? Kaya ako din, kami, bisa tinatanong ko, for 14 years ba, kumpare, marami na ba akong nadala sa Diyos? Marami na bang na nakakilala ng Diyos dahil sa akin? O marami na rin bang na-discourage at na-dismaya dahil sa akin? 14 years yun. At marami-marami na yun. Kaya nga habang binabasa ko yung buhay ni San Pedro, kaga, ni Andrew, kagabi, naisip ko tuloy, Paano kaya ako as vocation promoter? Nadadala ko ba yung mga tao closer to God? O sa inyo, vocation promoter na kabutihan ng Diyos? Kasi sa totoo lang po, minsan pag nagbibigay ako ng retreats, retreats and recollections sa mga kabataan, minsan may mga bata nagre-reklamo na ayaw nang umuwi ng bahay, Nawa ko lang, nakwento ko na ata ito dito eh. Na kung minsan, being a vocation promoter, really, really, nasa sa ating bahay minsan, paano natin ipinakilala ang Diyos sa buhay natin. May isang bata kasi, one time, yung, ano, ano, nakwento ko na ito yung isang bata na nakatira sa impyerno. Kasi itong batang ito, palakad-lakad sa kalye, nakita ng pulis. Sabi ng pulis sa kanya, oh, saan ka nakatira? Sabi ng bata, sa impyerno. Gulat yung pulis, bakit? Oh, ano ka, dem demonyo ka? Demonyo ito? Hindi. Sabi ng bata, kasi sa bahay, palagi nag-aaway si mami at si daddy. At madalas nagsisigawan ang tawag ni mami kay daddy, demonyo ka. Tapos tawag naman ni ng ni daddy doon kay mami, demonya ka. E pag ganyan ang nakatira, pag demonyo at demonya nakatira sa bahay nyo, anong tawag sa bahay nyo? Impyerno. Kaya yung bata ayaw umuwi. Kinonvince ng pulis. Sabi niya, umuwi ka. Habang papalapit na sila sa bahay, narinig nila yung sigawan ng mag-asawa. Pagbukas, pumatok yung ano, pulis. Pagbukas, imutik na siyang tamaan ng kutsilyo. Sabi ng pulis, Umalis na tayo dito. Impyerno nga ito. Tayo ba sa buhay mag-asawa, nakikita ba yung Diyos? Naipakilala ba natin ang Diyos sa ating mga anak? Ganon din po sa amin. Katulad ni Saint Andrew, naidada, naidadala ba namin yung mga tao doon sa Diyos? Napapas mo, napapalapit ba sila sa Diyos? Because all of us, In one way or the other, are vocation promoters of God's love. Vocation promoters of God's forgiveness. Vocation promoters of God's faithfulness, of God's hope in each one of us. Siguro yung ibang ninyo sa atin dito ay namasyal, daan tayo ng manawag. Vocation promoter 
pagpapakilala kay Mama Mary. I don't really know. And perhaps iba sa atin ito, naghahalap ng kahulugan ng buhay. Mag-attend tayo doon sapagkat maganda doon. Makikita natin ang Diyos. Mararamdaman natin ang presensya ng Diyos. As vocation promoters, we bring people closer to God. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, today is my anniversary, our anniversary. At ganun din po ang aking pinag-iisipan. In every encounter ba, ang nagagawa ko, kahit kanino man yan, mas napapalapit pa sila sa Diyos o mas napapalayo. Sa pamilya din ninyo, just like St. Andrew, na idadala ba natin o na napapalapit ba natin ang bawat isa sa Diyos o mas napapalayo natin sila sa Diyos. We are all God's vocation promoters. Let us promote God in our very own vocation in life. Let us all stand. Let us commend our intentions to the care of God the Father with the prayers of Saint Andrew. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors, called by God to be fishers of men, may face the challenge of renewal by preaching the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. That missionaries may become effective proclaimers of the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. That those called by our Lord to His service may respond generously to His call. Let us pray to the Lord. That the Lord may touch the sick, the sorrowing, and the troubled, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all of those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, He our prayer. For the bishops of the Philippines, and for our brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Penyaport, let us pray to the Lord. For the intentions of Father Norman Kilakil O.P., who is celebrating his ordination anniversary today, let us pray to the Lord. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, He our prayer that our beloved dead may live in the Lord's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, He our prayer. Father, as we prepare to celebrate the incarnation of your Son, grant the prayers we make in union with St. Andrew the Apostle. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that become our spiritual thing. Blessed be God forever. Please stand.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings which we bring on the feast day of St. Andrew, we may please you by what we have brought and be given life by what you have accepted through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for all ages and ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I keep you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please kneel for the Pledge of Stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies, who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church. In spite of who I am and what I have done, and in spite of the infidelities he knows I will still commit, I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus. Because love is the only way to holiness, giving is the best proof of loving, and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, for I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I must do word of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me, because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. I bow before the cross, made precious by Christ, my Master. I embrace it as His disciple. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I bow, I bow before, before the cross, cross made precious by Christ, Christ my, my Master. Master. I, I embrace, embrace it as His disciple. disciple. Let us pray. May communion in your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of the blessed Apostle Andrew, we who carry in our body the death of Christ may merit to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now pray uh, the prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles and images. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Sweetness.
Amen. Mm-hmm. 